Thank you guys, welcome to my presentation. My presentation is about, is about Eat That Frog from Brian Tracy. He's a, a guy from the States and he's a really renovated and what he did, he was uh, traveling a lot on ships, working on ships and like a, like a normal worker. But at one point in his life he decided to do a change and to really become something like to be an impact in, in the world and what he did was like he had uh, written because everybody has 24 hours and you only have 24 hours in your life per day 24-7 and what he really wants to do is an impact and so he started like 100 books about time management, productivity, he read about 1,000 journal entries and this book, actually I have it here, is, is the resume of uh, all the, that, this one is now in German and he spoke about like for several million people and to really improve and make an impact for those people and I came up uh, your agenda a little quick what I want to speak about versus why why I came into this uh, topic clarity to clear the mind and go yeah, really deep in this topic uh, about the Parteo uh, principle maybe you heard of it uh, some quotes ATE is a technique in these books there are 20 ways techniques I picked some several techniques and for finally call for action <laughs> so why I came into this? I came into this because first of all of my uh, roommate my roommate uh, Patrick and he read this book and he really I saw him like how he changed personally and how he get the most of 24 hours and for me personally I have so much things to do and I couldn't do every, everything and I also want to do so much but I have no time to do that, that, this, this hobby, I want to do that I couldn't decide and this is really for me personally um, a great help to, to reach all of them and I have, for also my life goals I didn't have really right life goals but this really helped me personally um, I'm sorry, I just uh, had, uh, now it's really a busy week. We uh, just started one week ago a new job as a call agent and the education uh, took like uh, four days instead of three weeks. And uh, I'm really tired and also a little sick. I have an ear infection and yeah, maybe I cannot so much concentrate, but I will do my best. It's also, um, why I have still the energy, I could also say no, I can't, I can't make it this presentation. But for me personally, it was really important also to give all of you some really good and important value. And yeah, also because I focus on the really important things, and for me this is an important thing. And if I focus on something important, I get energy of it. So for to have the life goals. You have to be clear and have clarity what it's all about. And there are seven steps to achieve this. And the first step is what? I also wrote in the WhatsApp uh, group. The worst um, thing to have a waste of time is to do something really good that isn't important at all. That's the worst uh, yeah, time waste like a good metaphor is um, like the fire workers they see a fire and they go with the car and they put the, the ladder on the building they climb up and then they realize sorry <laughs> uh, um, oh hell no we are on the wrong building so they have to go down and cross the street and go up the next building but this is really the most important part what what is really important in life, where we want to go, and for me personally, there are four, four um, spaces. Like first of all, is wait, look at my notes. Like first is job, 
kind of money, what kind of job I want to do, where I want to go, what responsibility I want to have, what do we want um, money making, how much I want to make. Second is family, and for us it's like family is also like in a um, woman or girlfriend. What kind of relationship we want to have? Um, how much children do I have? Do I want really have to have children? Um, also, this goal on where I want to live, to be all clear about that. Second, the third point is about the relations and friends. What kind of relationships I want to have to other people? What is my network I want to have? Because those are the top people uh, P had. And third is like hobbies. What I want to do in my spare, spare time? I want to have something like um, some special uh, hobby? Because there are so many hobbies, you can do everything. And if you decide what you want to do, it's really important. This is Second point, writing down, because he also wrote in his book like only 3% of all adults wrote their goals down, and the others don't. Set a date, like job, for family, relationships, hobbies, when I want to achieve it. Third, do a list, like also from in the job or in the day, what all you have to do, do a, a, a list, and then plan. For me personally, I do a plan, I have Online for every device, I have a list. It's called Wunder List. I, if I have an idea, I wrote it right down just there, so my head is empty. And then I do a plan. I have this, that, and so on. And then do action. If you have really done it, don't wait too long. Do it. And then do it daily. Because every, make sure that every day counts, and then every day you move forward. And you don't waste one day. So the Pareto principle is like, uh, maybe you heard it, it's like 20-80 or 80-20. So 20% of your activities make 80% of your results. 20% of your customers does 80% uh, of your sales. 20% of your turnover is 20% of your products and services. Um, oh, that does, must be turnaround. And also for us, like here, task. 20% uh, of your task, 10% of your do, percent of your doing gives 80% of your value. And for me personally, like, um, yeah, you always want to do the small things and this, and you have to do that, the laundry, and, and go there, and this, and this, answering this email, and so on, and so on. But that doesn't really keep us forward going. And for me personally, good, a good feeling, to have a good feeling is something when I accomplish something big. And that gives me energy and it helps me to the next, to the next, to the next thing, it becomes a habit. So I have some really quotes that I like. So the first one is from Goethe. In fact, we all have enough time, but if we really want it, if we really see the value of it, uh, we can use it right and we can make it. So for me, if somebody says um, for something you have to do a job, or a job finding, or going there, or door, I don't have time. But for me personally, that's just a lie. Because everybody has time, everybody in the world has the same amount of time, 24 7. And some may, some are billionaires, and some are, are not. What's their match is what they do. So, if you really see the value in something, you have the time and you feel fine with the one. And I'll come down with the ABCDE technique, and this is how you can really find how to, to make these things work and happen. So plan is, is making the future present. So if you plan, you will bring it to this moment. And he also said, like, every minute you plan, you um, diminish the time you get from, to, to do some work, like a uh, down. So if you plan like, what's it, like five minutes, or four minutes, something for the next day, you already accomplished you four hours, uh, two, one hour, one hour less time of work. 
because you plan four, hour, uh, four minutes in advance. So one minute to 50. So we can, if you have more questions about it, we can do it. And also concentrate all your thoughts on one task. Because like, it's like a metaphor from with the sun, the rays from the sun also can only burn something if it go really down. So don't do multitasking, only one thing at a time. And also work smarter, not harder. That's a really important point for me because uh, the layout, the ground layout for this presentation I made half an hour beforehand. I just googled it, summary, presentation, eat that frog. Uh, look down and pick some notes, the rest from my own experiences and I have done the presentation in like 10 or 15 minutes. And the other time I get, I can do something else. So, the ABCDE um, technique is like make a table and you put it A, B, C, and you just do it really quick, and E, and here comes task. So the A are the frogs. The frogs are really the important things in your life. And if you can do your frogs, you really move forward. That's like to be in a job, like, um, to do a presentation and reporting for your boss because he can um, present it afterwards to the shareholders or the board or uh, for us like um, do something important with your girlfriend going planning vacations doing something important and not just uh, like, like yeah that's also cool like watching film or so on but really on the big points the B poly polybox that is called in German Kaltwatte this is something like answering a mail or a phone call, something like that, but it isn't a killer uh, must. So A frogs are must, B polybog are you should, that's good. Nice, C is nicely, yeah, maybe, mm -hmm. D delegate, so if you can delegate it to somebody else, it's good. And for me personally, the E eliminate is the best point, because if you eliminate something, like you said, make it simple, simplicity, eliminate, What's not necessary? And do everything by your own or reinventing your, your wheel. Yeah, if something already exists, use it and adapt. And make it a habit of it. Yeah, and lastly, uh, finally, call for action. Like, single handle every task. Uh, set clear priorities, what is really important. Start immediately and not wait till because if you wait on something, um, it's still in your head and it doesn't get done. And at one point you have to stop. And the more you start, the more you get a habit, the more you go on. It's like the snowball that gets rolling. <coughs> and then work it until it's done. Because we have now really Today also the social media, check quick WhatsApp, Facebook, the mails, and every time you get interrupted and you have to get second time or third time to into it, and your focus you have to start over again. And this is really for me also a key perform for maximum productivity. For me personally, I uh, just started a job as I um, told you, I'm a little bit sick. Um, I do an other side uh, postulations for a new job, um, sports, everything. And uh, also in the morning, I see everybody's reading 20 minutes. I take my laptop, I update my um, curriculum vitae, and so on. That's why it's really the difference. He also described if you want to go in the career, he really also really focus mostly on some career and business. But um, if you are going in the morning, you're reading in, um, in the train the newspaper, then you go make a coffee, then you speak about a little bit with the colleagues, and then you go checking on the mails, and, mm -hmm, and already one hour is lost. One half, half an hour in the train and half an hour in, in the office. But if you want really got promoted, like you read about news, you read about the journal, what's going on in days, what's going on in the world, uh, what's happening, and you don't speak and so with the other colleagues and so you get also more 
basically the, you are the person that gets the So, yes. Amazing.